<laughs> that Honey Boo Boo uh, is saying that she's um, trying to collect donations. Donations. So does that mean that she's begging? Because I mean, people say that I'd be begging. People, people on here say that I'd be begging for for donations and uh, not not donations. That I'd be begging for money. And I'd be uh, you know uh, wanting people to pay for me. That's what people be calling me. They be calling me a beggar. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. So this is going to be somewhat of a different video. Um, you know that I talk about mommies here on my channel. I do commentary on them. Um, and there was a mother that was brought to my attention. She's not someone that we would traditionally talk about. As a matter of fact, she's very different. Um, the only thing that uh, is similar uh, as far as she's concerned uh, and some of the people we talk about is she is currently homeless. She's living in an extended stay. Um, she was talked about about a, from another young lady um, who also does commentary. And she talked about how much she begs and how she basically is an online panhandler. Remember, um, people felt the same way about Allison Alana, who ended up... Uh, at the time that we first uh, found out about her, she was going through an eviction and she needed money to pay her rent. Well, she did ask. People did help her. And, uh, you know, she was able to actually to get monetized uh, from all of that attention. Well, this young lady has done something similar, except she's been online for a little while. Um, she definitely panhandles. As a matter of fact, I think she... Uh, probably has begged more than anybody I've ever seen on this internet. Um, let me show you a few clips from her and her channel. Her channel's name is Delicious Denise. She's a mom of two little girls. Um, she does um, consider herself a gypsy. And she is a widower, apparently. Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. College, her books, her food, her clothing. So you think because you honey boo boo, people are supposed to send you donations? I'm not hitting the game. Uh, I can see it was somebody who really, really needed it. You know what I'm saying? Someone who was really asking for donations because they really needed their homies, they got kids, you know, they need a motel room for the night, whatever, to take a shower, you know, try to get their shit together, like we all are in this world. And she has the nerve, the nerve to ask for donations to pay for her college. That's not our problem, how much a set of nails costs. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's okay for her to do it. It's okay for her to do it and people are sending her cash out. But it's not okay for me that I'm a single mom, I'm homeless. I'm trying to get myself out of this situation. But it's okay. It's, it's okay for Honey Boo Boo to do it. But yeah, she's not begging. She's asking for donations. Isn't that crazy? Calling the kettle black? Oh my God. Now y'all, of course, people can do what they want. This is a free country. I don't particularly understand why people online have decided, or should I say certain people have decided to come online and ask strangers for their money that they work hard for when you have the same opportunities as those strangers. Another thing is this young lady has a car, she could door dash, she could do all kinds of things to earn money no matter where she lives, but she has the nerve to come and critique a woman for asking for help, saying that she can't because of her situation, but feeling like because she's homeless and a single mother, that uh, she has a situation she feels, so it's okay for her. If it's good for one person, it's good for another. You can't really uh, dictate who can or should do uh, a certain thing on the internet. Okay, let me put out some facts. Number one, she's a mother of two. She currently lives in Tennessee. She has lived in several locations. Again, she is a widow. I mean, let's be honest, life has been very hard on her. But I want to say this, it is no one's responsibility to take care of another person. We're all responsible for ourselves. It's unfortunate that things have ha that have happened for her, but that doesn't give 
uh, her the right to feel she's entitled to what others have. Now, let's be honest about something else. If she asks you for your money and you give it to her, it is what it is. I mean, I just don't understand why people have created a culture of coming online begging strangers for their money. But whatever the case is, if you are in need, you ask for help and you get it, it is what it is. I'm not going to sit here and say that she can't ask, just like I'm not going to say honey boo boo can't ask, because both of them are entitled to do what the hell they want. And if you give them the money, hey, even exchange ain't no swindle. So I'm going to be straight up about that. Um, the other young lady who talked about her, shout out to her, her channel name is Run My Mouth. Um, she basically was talking about uh, she felt that this uh, woman was not only kind of going overboard with the begging, that she wasn't putting in enough effort, I believe, to uh, take care of herself and her children. She also has a dog that she was asking for money for. Um, now, I saw that for myself, as well as ask for money to get maintenance on her car. I was like, well, damn, the heck with a job. Now, I think at one point she did have a job and maybe she lost it. I don't know, but she's consistently moving around. Um, I even saw her as she was moving from one city to another saying, oh, this is where we are. Um, the next city is so far away. I really need help. Can y'all please help? Let me show you uh, a little bit more of the information that led me to feel compelled to make this uh, video. Show you, I need some help. I need some donations. Let, let me not even beat around the bush. Okay, this is what the little refrigerator is looking like here at the Extended Stay Hotel. Uh, we are, you can throw that away. I want to save you, that's empty. So anyways, we, we need some food donations. If any, this is a bag of ice. We need, I, I have a cash app. I ain't even gonna front. I ain't even gonna pretend for nothing. You think it's easy for a single mom, a widow, a woman who's lost her finger in, in the last two years? You think it's easy for me to be on here and ask for help? I don't know how old you are, sweetheart. I, I can barely see your picture because I'm on the phone. If I had a tablet, I could probably see y'all's picture. But you really think that it's easy for me to sit here and ask? Baby, until you're in my shoes, until you're in my shoes, then you come talk to me. When you're missing a finger and you're probably gonna have to cut the rest of it off because the bone, the bone is, is you see how it's black? It's because the bone is not going to, they told me it's not going to heal. That that part has to be cut off. The bone inside is um, decaying, it's, it's it's rotting away. So they most likely have to um, cut the whole finger, right? Then on top of that, I have to raise two girls. On top of that, I lost my husband almost two years ago. On top of that, I lost my Section 8. I mean, I had it. I lost it. I won it. I lost it again. And I'm living in an extended stay hotel with my kids. So I'm homeless. So come back to me when all this stuff happens to you and let me know if your thoughts are different. Okay? Now, this is what I have to say about that. Number one, we didn't cut your finger off. Number two, we didn't take your beloved uh, mister. Uh, number three, we did not leave you with those children. Number four, we did not take your housing. Um, there are resources out there. You have a car that clearly you are asking and keeping up maintenance on. So you could go out, you could DoorDash, you can do Instacart. You can do all of these things and allow your children to help you so that you can get your own money. You don't have to wait and get a job at Arby's or wherever. Um, DoorDash, Instacart, Waiter, Grubhub, all of these resources, you can work anytime. Anytime you need some gas, you can work. Anytime you need to uh, get food, you can work. And depending on where you are, if you're in a smaller city, you can go to a bigger city and work and then come back to your smaller city. So it is so easy for people to say how, e how it's not easy. Yeah, it is. Because if it was that much more difficult, you'd find other resources to work as well as ask. So for that reason alone, I'm going to say, yes, it is easy. And you are very good at it because you are sitting up here. Oh, I had this happen. I had that happen. And I'm going through a lot mentally. So you should give me your money. No, I shouldn't. I should give you the resources to be able to get your own money. Just like I just did. Honey, Miss Delicious Diana puts my Jazzy Life, Wine Glass and Chill, and Alice and Alana to shame. TikTok, TikTok. I am here today because I am, I am pleading, pleading for some help for Apple, my dog. Where is she at? Um, right there. 
she is not feeling well. She has not been eating. We think uh, that something is lodged. I don't know if it's her stomach, her throat. I don't know. She's drinking water. Um, she has had diarrhea like two days ago. She is. Another thing about her is the fact that when you speak out against her, um, she was very upset about the other lady speaking out and actually asked her audience to go over there and report her channel and uh, basically harass her, which makes her not only uh, you know, a panhandler, but it also makes her a manipulator and very dangerous in my opinion. Everybody has the right to freedom of speech. And just like when she puts her information out here and when she does these type of actions, we have a right to speak out against it because it's it's piss poor. And it's kind of neglectful putting yourself in that position when you have children to take care of. Why is she not working as hard to go and use these gig working resources to take care of her family instead of relying on a situation she cannot control? Y'all, tell me what y'all think of not only this lady, but some of the other ones we've discussed here. Like I said, Allison Alana is one. Wine Glass and Chill is one. She actually asked people to donate for her birthday. So is this young lady. She said that she'll be 50 in, uh, I think, 20 days. And so she's asking for donations and gifts for her birthday. And I think she had a child that had a birthday. She did the same thing. Oh. She can't be using my name. I understand um, I'm getting famous. I understand my channel's growing and I understand I'm coming across a lot of people's feeds and recommendations. Not famous, child. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. These people who have money want more money and want more money. She's living a pretty good damn life, right? But I'm here stuck in a hotel room, like 300, maybe 330. The website says that they're around 330 square feet. That's what the website says. But yeah, you have here Honey Boo Boo, who got money, who doesn't worry about paying bills because her sister and her brother-in-law pay the bills, the mortgage, the light, the water, the food. But I'm here trying to make it work, trying to do a better life for my kids, to go back to San Antonio, trying to raise the money to go back to San Antonio, Texas, to fix the car, wash the clothes, start packing, start cleaning the car, and all this other stuff. But you got Alana slash Honey Boo Boo. That I've been going through, through, through emotional distress, that, you know, I was living in a shelter for two months, like she's saying she's telling people i live in bristol right now and i don't I guys tell me what you think of uh this young lady delicious denise tell me what you think about the fact that she feels that she's more entitled than the likes of another person uh to beg tell me what you think about the fact of her asking us to take care of her self her children her eating her housing um, and I did tell you that she is a widow, so I'm not sure if she's getting Social Security or not. Um, you don't ever hear her talk about that. But even her children, she is uh, out here with two kids. Um, I did hear her mention something about food stamps. With two kids, she should get at least $500 worth. Um, it's, it's interesting that she feels so entitled. And I want to know what you guys think. Let's definitely discuss this in the comments below because i mean just like i have to get up and go and take care of my family she should have the same uh will and determination she says she's trying to get her life together but the only thing we see her do is beg let me know what you think about her and people like her we'll talk about this down below and i'll see you guys in the next video